Hello and welcome to another Scoutcast Battle Report. Today we continue the rise of a cabal as Archon Skari goes into real space today to face the leagues of the Votan. Squats, we're just squats. Yeah, let's begin. Hello everyone and welcome to episode 15 of Rise of the Cabal, where we do crusade games. Today we're playing 45, 49 power level, incursion level. Thank you so much to um, Miniature Scenery um, for all the terrain. This terrain is awesome. I love it. It's great. Nice. Check them out. I love this Eldar. Not all battles are fought on Imperial sectors in the universe. There you have it. Let's dive into the rosters that we're running today, and then we'll go into the mission. And here we have Archon Skari's Real Space Raid. Well, it's double patrol today, but legendary Archon Skari has brought a force for this little raid here in episode 15. Very, very, very exciting. A new addition to the Crusade roster, Other Void Raiders, a unit of Corsairs. Fresh from the void, ready to uh, uh, gain glory as Archon Skari's reputation transcends the Eldari divisions, which is really, really cool. Um, the list is two patrols. I've got Rizalia as well, who is ready to rock and roll. Um, we do have the Raider Mist, Desperation, and Cutter, which is the, um, the Venom in the list as well. We do have True Strike, which are the little unit of witches that's come to play as well in real space. Then we have Slick Venom. This is the Cabalite Warrior Squad with the Splinter Cannon, which is really exciting. We have Dark Sun, which is the Cabalite Warrior Squad with the Dark Lance. Now they, of course, are heroic in rank and have a whole bunch of really cool stuff. I did recently unlock an Incubi Shrine. Therefore, the Incubi of the True Blade Shrine are here to lend their swords to Archon and Skari himself. There you have it, folks. 49 power level. Now, I did spend a requisition point to give Archon Skari combat drugs for this game. I also spent two of my investigation points from the Nexus, Pariah Nexus uh, campaign, basically, to remove his loss of a leg, which he gained uh, last battle. And I did spend a requisition point as well to take away the battle scars from one of the Cavalry Warrior squads that stopped them, the fatigue trait, which stopped them from taking objectives. So I have one requisition point to spare. I've got one raid spoil point. I haven't been on Crusade in a while, so they've had plenty of time to recuperate and get better. And as the, they approach the battle, let's see what the enemy has brought to the fight. And out from the core come the leagues of Votan, with Tyler bringing his brand new Votan list. This is 49 power level. Of course, this is non-power level updated Votan, which is exciting. It's going to be a fun, <laughs> good game. Okay, I'm actually terrified of these bikes. All, all the nerfs did uh, not affect my nope, power level. did not affect power level at all, which is going to be pretty intense because it's a lot of Votan to get through. Okay, sir, uh, what did you bring today? We are led today by the warlord Call Leo. Uh, he's bringing his champion Raph. Three squads of Hearthkin warriors, two of them with bolters, one with the ion guns, with all the upgrades, and of course a magna rail in each. Yep. Uh, I've got two squads of bikes, Team Bebop and Rocksteady. And that is the Transmedia Networked Trade. Okay. TMNT. You also brought the uh, heart, the Hearthkin. Oh, and warriors? some Hearth Hearthguard. Yeah. Hearthguard. That's what they're called. They're Hearthkin. These are Hearthguard. They're little Terminator guys. Well, there you have it. How many games have you got so far with this, this list? Uh, this will be game four for them. Neat. They have uh, one victory, one draw, and one loss under their belt. Very so cool. Awesome. So there you have it, folks. Let's dive in to the mission. 
Today we are playing Recon Patrol, which is mission four of the incursion missions. I'm, of course, using the awesome cards that I got from the um, US Open 2022, which is the Grand Narrative. Very, very useful to have. Uh, essentially, table quarters, controlling objectives, trying to rec reconnoiter the table quarters themselves, etc., etc. It's going to be a really fun time. Uh, let's dive into deployment. So each player is going to be putting, we're going to be putting four objective markers on the table. Um, we have to put at least half of our number of units into strategic reserves, and they might come in uh, on a four plus, <laughs> or they might not. I've played this a couple of times. Can be, it's like feast and famine when it comes to this game. Um, one, one unit can do an action wholly within a table quarter that's not rake and orchard. So we're doing retrieve data, basically, which is like a match play rule. And then we're also trying to hold objectives for each uh, five points at the end of each player's command phase. Hold one, hold two, hold more, and then end game points based on your reconnoiter objectives as well. The winner will get to select two units for Mark for Greatness. The Votan have decided to take this corner here. We did put four objectives down. This little marker is an objective. That little sort of webway gate is an objective. This one back here is in that table quarter is in that objective. And this one here is in this table quarter is that objective. Now, for this mission, half of our army must start in strategic reserves. So we'll go over what we deploy and uh, we'll be back. But um, the Votan decided to deploy all 30 of their infantry and the Kal. Kal. And then I decided to deploy Skari, Cavalite Warriors and a Raider, Venom with Witches and a Raider. And I've put in reserve Incubi, Corsairs, Rosalia, and a 10 strong unit of Cavalites that are on foot. Okay. Plus, I could use 2CP to just put everything into strategic reserve because <laughs> I am Cabal of the Poison Tongue. And uh, it's sneaky shenanigans. Okay, right. awesome. And here we are after deployment. I put my venom down here. This is a little obscuring piece of terrain. That's obscuring. This is obscuring. There's some dense uh, terrain as well, but there's a decent amount of hiding places. Uh, we do have Archon Scari with a Dark Sun in that raider over there as well. I got to put one of um, Tyler's objectives down. He has to try and do an action on this objective for his agendas. The other agenda we took was Reaper, so whoever kills the most stuff gets two experience points. I took Assassins, Breakthrough, and I also took um, used a real space raid point, like a raid point, which is a crusade thing for Dark Eldar, to take a third agenda, which is take credit. So uh, I can have a character in my list essentially get experience for all the accumulated experience for the rest of my army, as they just take credit for everything that happened, which is amazing and very Dark eldar very, very, very Dark eldar -y. Okay, so without further ado, let's dive in to turn um, number one. What? Awesome. Let's roll off and see who decides to jump the gun. Okay, the Dark Eldar will take the first turn. So I did start with six command points. We use... Um, Normal command point style stuff for this one. So at the start of your turn, you get a command point. But there was a 12 crusade power difference between Tyler's list and mine. <laughs> so Tyler got an additional six command points. So he's going to start at 12. And I only have six. So I'm going to spend two of those command points right away to redeploy both of my units and get them up and personal as well. And there we have it. We have uh, two of the units. I've redeployed. I put Archon Scari and his raider on this side. I put the Venom on that side. Essentially going to try and do uh, some damage to the units. Um, you know, I've got to try and get through them. They can heal. They can ignore wounds. They're, like, really annoying. But they are only one wounded Space Marines. So, in a sense, they're just a little bit easier to deal with sometimes. I can't reroll wound rolls against them, though. No. And I, they have minus one to my AP. Okay, so um, now I don't, I can't roll for my reserves until after the reserve, like after I've moved. So I'm going to have to make some judgment calls. If I decide to try and bring in reserves on turn one, I roll on a four plus, they can come in. If not, they have to stay off the board until the third battle round. So it is a gamble to see if your reserves show up. But if Archon Scari is anything, he's a gambler. <laughs> so let's dive into the game. There we have it. So, I got Archon Scari out. He moved up wholly within this table quarter, and he's going to start the recon sweep 
action. Oh, wait! He has deep scars. He can't do actions, I don't think. Oh, you did say that. Yeah, mm, okay, that changes, uh, that changes things. Is it just one unit from my army? Um, yeah, I'm going to start it with the Venom in this table quarter. We'll just get that one out of the way. Like, that, I don't have to worry about it. Venom's going to hold that objective for now. Do, oh, it's at the end of the move phase. Oh, I should probably do reserves before I choose where I'm going to do the action then. Okay, yeah. so the witches did get out, moved up. It's not too far of a charge through that terrain there. We've got uh, the raider just moved up, uh, touching the little obscure, the dense terrain there to get minus one to hit. Good job. And, <laughs> and uh, now we're going to roll for reserves. This is where the gamble happens. So we're going to roll for Slick Venom, which is my on-foot Cabalite warrior squad. They must stay out until turn four. And then the Mega Juice Raider with Rosalia, the Incubi, and the Corsairs. Will they come to the party? They do not. They are staying off. Until turn number three, leaving Ark on Scari high and dry. I love it. <laughs> Let's dive in to my shooting phase. So I decided to do the action with the Venom. With shooting, uh, the Dark Lance and all the guys inside did shoot uh, at these Hearthkin warriors, and I did end up killing two or three, three of them. So I did a Blasters first to kind of make you ignore the damage and then everything else continued to do. I did two mortal wounds with Phantasm Grenade Launchers and then uh, I did one Poison Wound as well. With that, we're going to try get these Witches into combat. Let's rock and roll, Witches. I don't know if that is enough, but we'll see, we'll see if you roll. So I do need to roll a 7 for the Witches. Let's try get into combat. They do with an 8. Good job. That does burn my CP for the turn, and they'll just jump around and get into combat. Gone. Okay, five witches. They are Cursed Blade. They did get plus one weapon skill, plus one ballistic skill, plus one leadership. So, hitting on... Ooh, ooh, I am going to spend a command point on... Um, I can reroll hit rolls against you, right? Yes. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to spend a command point on Prey on the Weak. So they are going to pile in first. They're just going to going to jump into here, get a little closer, get a little stuck in, just be annoying as much as they can because they're witches. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's uh, go over that side and roll some dice. Okay, so here we go first. Hitting on twos, I did use Prey on the Weak, so they reroll once to hit. That's definitely not flat, and neither is that one. Okay, thank you, Prey on the Weak. All hits. This is just the Hecatari Blades. Now, they are strength four, thanks to Cursed Blade, and your toughness is four. So I need fours to wound. Oh, sixes are good, because that'll trigger Blade Artists, which is fantastic. Excellent. So it'll be six saves at no AP, because you ignore AP1, mm -hmm. and three saves at AP1, because they're AP2, because you've got your little Void Armor. Okay, six regular armor saves. Now, I've already made you ignore one, so you can't ignore any of these. Two more will go down, and then you will also take three at four ups. One more, so that's three, four that go down, and then I still have my power sword. Hitting on twos from the power sword, she's going to be strong five for the power sword. Hitting on twos. And wounding on threes. Now, these are AP3, which is awesome. Ooh, very nice. These are actually AP4. And I'm going to spend a command point to reroll this one. Ah, sad. So I do go down to two command points remaining, but these are AP4. So those would be AP3. Okay. And that is AP3. Go down to AP2. Okay. So I believe his ramparts in range give him a five up uh, involved. Okay. Uh, so we'll go yeah, so they're all five ups pretty much. So oh, two so good and one more. Yep. One more dice. So I have killed five in total from the squad. There are two remaining. That was very, very close. I almost killed the entire squad. Now I'm going to push into them like so. I'm not going to stay outside of an inch of the call. Don't want to. Um, don't want to do that. However, because of your trade, I fought you in combat. You might put a judgment token on me because yes. I didn't kill you. And they are now below half strength, so they generate judgment on a three. Oh, no. uh, did not happen. No judgment here yet. Excellent. I not. It's not a grudging yet. Yet. Awesome. They do get to fight back though. You have the the medic is dead, so you just have the one guy. No, this, this, this is the medic. That is the medic. That is the that's not the medic. Oh, this that's a scanner. scanner. So the medic is still alive. Hey, that was close. I love it. 
I am gonna. What are you hitting on, by the way? Threes. Do you have any rerolls at all? I will reroll ones because of the call. Uh, yep. Go ahead. And your strength four or strength three? Uh, four. Okay, cool. So I won't use any strats here. <laughs> so you do hit on with a reroll. That's four hits. I am toughness three. No, oh. toughness two. I think. Oh, then I uh, wound on two. I think I have minus one toughness because of the, their drugs, basically. So four saves. It is on four ups. However, sixes bounce back mortal wounds. To you because I am cursed blade. So hopefully, I can do a couple of mortals here and just wipe the squad. That would be perfect. Oh, that's not flat. One goes down. Ah, oh, so I do lose two, and you will lose an additional model. <laughs> uh, an additional model? Or is well, it's a mortal. Wound? It's a mortal wound. It's a mortal. I yeah. will take the mortal wound. Oh, he's got two wounds. Uh, he has two wounds? Has two wounds. <gasps> Lies. Has two wounds. Oh, so he's going <laughs> to... I love it. He's taking a single wound as he bounces the mortal back, keeping them alive. Awesome. So, uh, we do owe each other some leadership tests. I lost two. They are leadership eight, minus one, and then plus one. So I am fine. Okay. You are leadership minus a lot. <laughs> okay. What's Fair enough. Up? They're going to fail. Yep. Do you suffer combat attrition tests? I, I believe. believe I do. Excellent. Because you took poison damage from the oh, cursed blade, no. you're an additional minus one to your attrition. So you're minus on ones, twos for under 50, and threes because of the poison tongue. So one fleas. And then a one, two, or three, the other one flees as well. All right, well, let's just see if the thing is going to run. He does. He does. All right. They all run away as the witches yeah. collapse the flank completely. Okay, well, now the witches do get <laughs> Now they get a judge token because they murdered everyone. I judge you for I, that. Though. Good job, witches. They just shock troops galore that. I'm oh, sorry, did they? That he was did awesome. An he did the action so he gets over there. A judgment. <gasps> for completing an action? Did you get a judgment? What? For completing an action? Oh my goodness. That is a grudging for sure. That venom goes in the book. So that's the end of my turn. I was able to get rid of 10 of the troops, which I think is very, very important early on in the game. Yep. Um, I don't know which one was the one that helped you with your end game stuff. But um, I, I think it was that one. Guy. Cool. Other than that, the witches are now going to be very dead. But that is okay. I I am start, did the action with the venom, so that gives me end game stuff. And now we move into Votan turn number one. End of the movement part of the movement phase. So we've got well, not the, and then we've got reserves. If Tyler wants to try bring any in and risk it, he might. He might not. We have the bolt uh, guys come up this side. We have the beam guys come up the middle. He did point at my raider and put him in the book of judges judgment. Book of Judgment, Book of that's judgment. a grudgeon, just for existing. The call is like you. Uh, sorry, the witches did not get a Judgment token because the unit they, that died ran away. I did not kill them. They just ran, they fled. Um, and then the call has just moved up, ready to uh, combat over here or to shoot. So are you going to roll any reserves? Not this turn. Okay. Yeah, you're going to, maybe next turn, knowing that I don't get anything next turn, because yeah. I failed both of them, which <laughs> means that you have a chance, and if you fail, then they just come in after mine come in as well. So there's no love lost there. So with that, we're going to do some shooting. Uh, you'd have 13 command points, so let's see if uh, you decide to use some of them. I'm glad I killed the whole squad, because they can't come back to life and do all that silly stuff. Um, and at the expense of a unit of witches, I'm okay with that. So with that, let's dive into the shooting phase. The Carl starts the shooting phase with his Volkai pistol, killing two of the witches in the squad, getting ready to charge in and hopefully not rolling snake eyes. Yeah. Uh, the beam squad is going to use Hunter's Mark on the raider and is going to fire. What does Hunter's Mark do? So Hunter's Mark is one command point. Yep. I choose a attack and it auto hits. So the so rail the, gun the, is okay. going to The auto magna rail is just going to automatically hit. Yeah. That's awesome. And if it wounds, it just goes through my invuls and stuff. I like it. Yes. Excellent. So let's see if this survives. Mm -hmm. The beam weapons did shoot at the raider. Uh, got six damage through. So four damage from the magna rail, and then one more from the beam shots got through, thanks to the dense terrain and, of course, the um, invulnerable save, which is really useful against the little beam weapons as well. So we're using optimized volley for this unit of uh, hearth. Guard? 
Hearthkin. 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 Yes. And they're going to shoot over here. They've got another Magna Rail, a little rocket launcher, and a bunch of bolters as well. Yeah. So we rolled a hit. The Magna Rail hit. Failed to wound. I have four wounds left. So Tyler's going to use a CP reroll. And... Oh, Magna Rail didn't wound. Yes. That's a little action shot. <laughs> Okay, well, a here's, rocket launcher. here's the rocket launcher. That is strength. That is strength 9 and focus. And what's the damage in AP? It is D6 damage Ooh, and minus okay. 2 AP. All right, so 5 up and vulnerable save for my little raider. It's okay. Gar, gar, gar. And now all the little bolt weapons. So there were two auto wounds. Uh, there were no sixes oh, in that roll. Because oh, you didn't right, get any exploding. Correct. Right, yep, yep. And they're all strength 4, I believe. <laughs> Three more saves. They're uh, strength 4. Right? Yep. Three more saves at AP one. AP one. Okay, so five ups again. I take two more damage. The raider has survived the shooting phase with two wounds remaining, thanks to this little forest. Excellent. Good job, forest. <laughs> You're my favorite friend. <laughs> and then we have some charging to do. They didn't do their action. Uh, good, well, oh, the, in that corner? To him yeah, yeah, that's fine. So they're doing the action in this corner here to make sure that that comm scan yeah. gets out of the way. Because they can't do it because they're, they're going to have to spend at least another turn getting <laughs> holy in because they're stubby legs. Yep. Okay, so charging. Okay, call. Don't I like it. Don't roll snake eyes. Uh, he uh, did not roll snake eyes. Four attack space and three extras from the relic and flare sword. Nope. No. Nope. So twos. He doesn't get to. Oh, doesn't mm -hmm. get to Sixes don't ones. do anything. You don't have any. I'm toughest too. Yeah. So twos. Whoa. Okay. Ooh. Two four up impulse. I'm okay with this. No. If I roll any sixes, I bounce back some mortals at you. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay, we'll yeah. do one at a time for dramatic effects. First one, he lives, or she lives. Second one, she lives! Yes! <laughs> Go! <laughs> Wait, I get to fight you back! <laughs> okay. Well, I do get to fight you back. I'm gonna go ahead and hit you on twos with my power sword. Okay, and I am strength five. Five with my power sword, which means... Uh, not strength five, strength yeah, strength five with the power sword because of curse play. Three is to wound your calm. That's one at AP four and one at AP three. Okay. Which I believe you have a four up invul. I have a four up. Okay, so just your invuls. Two invuls, one damage each. <sighs> Very cool. Oh, and that was a. There you go. That's two wounds. That's How two. many do you have left, Mister uh, Carl? That leaves him with three. Excellent. My blast pistol will have something to say about that. I'm sure. I did only lose two models there, so I cannot fail my morale. But she is an absolute trooper. <laughs> you get a medal. I'm going to mark them for greatness for sure, because yep. they've been amazing. I deserve it. I deserve it. So with that, you did do your action in that table quarter. You can shoot and do actions with your calls. So you don't have to worry about that. And then we move into the second battle round. Start of the second battle round, the Dark Eldar hold two objectives and hold more than their Votan opponents. So they will get 15 points on primary. I do have repair systems on this raider, so it will go up to three wounds remaining. Way! <laughs> awesome. <laughs> it's going to get another grudge in because it's going to sit there and essentially do an action. It's probably going to move up and kind of... I'm going to try and move it as far forward as possible. All the Cab Light Warriors are going to come out and play, and it's going to be fabulous. Let's I just go my for chance. it. You, uh, that unit of witches and this living is a, actually quite a big deal. <laughs> okay, so let's dive into, um, let's dive into uh, the phase. Yeah, let's see what happens. Someone in that group has it out for Starry. It's Rosalia. 100% it's Rosalia. She's like paid off the Incubi to like not come to Scarry's aid. Yeah. Literally how that works. Can't bring any reserves in because I did fail the two reserve rolls on that turn. However, I did move the Raider up into that table quarter and it's going to do the recon action in that table quarter. We'll get another Grudge Token, but that's okay. It's done its job. I did move up to get within three inches of them to essentially help with the Phantasm Grenade Launcher, lowering your leadership by two. And then all the Cabalite Warriors and Archon Scari have moved up, ready to engage that beam unit as well. I am going to keep the... Uh, I do get a command point as well. 
And I could use two CP to fall back and charge um, with that succubus. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and do it. She's going to fall back, shoot, and charge just because, you know, just in case. Is there a thing you can do with that? Uh, is there? Oh, okay. Please explain before I spend my command points here. Hilarious. Using the core, you're going to try cut her down as she falls back to shoot you with her blast pistol. On a six, she takes a mortal wound. So close. I love that stratagem, by the way. It is an underrated, awesome stratagem. Okay, so she's going to get back. She might charge into the beam guy. She might charge back in into him, depending on what happens. So, uh, But she has now got a variety of things that she can do. Excellent. And then this Venom decided to move up, expose itself, but I'm stopping you from bringing in your infantry right next to your little objective and then just instantly being able to do your action. I'm going to force you to uh, have to kill that Venom first. Okay. So with that, let's dive into the shooting phase. Archon Scari has a blast pistol. He's just going to shoot into that and just hopefully um, stop you from getting your... Uh, just the medic thing, essentially. Okay. Does it hit? It does. Does it wound? I get to reroll all wound rolls because I hate everything. You can't. Oh, sad. Okay. That's right. So no reroll wound roll. So nothing there. That made me sad. Blast pistol here into um, your car. Excellent. Leo? Hits on twos because she has plus one ballistic skill. <laughs> she hits. Wounds on threes, though. Can't reroll this, so hopefully she can connect. She does. Oh, no. That is an AP four, so a four up in vulnerable save on your call. Oh, yes. he bounces right off his high. <laughs> oh, no. Excellent. And then this entire inner cab lights is going to shoot into, um, uh, you know what? I'm going to do the Dark Lance and the two blasters into him, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's a little far away from his friends. Uh, yep. So I'm going to totally try and assassinate him for sure. So two blasters of Dark Lance here, and then everything else, including the Phantasms, into that little unit there. So we're going to go ahead and do the Dark Lance. First, I need a four. I do get to reroll ones, though, because I get to reroll hit rolls. No. The two blasters, I get to reroll hit rolls of one. And needing threes to wound. <gasps> <laughs> Lucky call, eh? I love it. And then all the rifles. Good old dwarven toughness, right? There you go. That's awesome. He's like, I, I have lived many years. <laughs> right, all the little rifles into your squad. Hitting on threes, rolling ones. And because I'm poison tongue, wounding on threes as well. Okay, so that is going to be seven armor saves, please. That's, of course, all the Kabbalite Warriors. They don't have a grudge token on them yet. Yes. And you will ignore the first failed, so ignore one, and then two more go down. And is that... Now do you get the four up? Now I check. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So now you check to see if you do on a four up. Put a grudge token on me. That's your custom thing. Oh, no, no. That means you cannot shoot back at me because I do not have a judgment you token on me. Up. And now we go ahead and do my phantasm ray launcher with just three shots. Hitting on threes. Uh, Rerolling ones. And three hits. You are now leadership six thanks to the, okay. the raider. So first one does, a, uh, does not do a mortal. Second one. Does not do a mortal. Third one, does a mortal. So you just take a mortal wound from that as well. Technically, that would have happened basically uh, at the same time as all the rifles. Well then, I'm going to start with some charges. We're going to get Archon Scari to jump into the Votan Warriors over here. Are you going to overwatch me? Yeah, no, it's uh, when when you over charge with a character, you can overwatch them regardless of how close they are. If then you can, I might as well. Excellent. So, six beams and a big cannon on Archon Skiari. Okay, Ooh. rerolling ones, though, and there is one hit from that beam there. Very nice. Oh, <gasps> that's the important one. That is one. definitely very, very important. Okay, you wound on a two with the beam cannon, and you wound on the threes with everything else. So that'll go straight through. That one does not. You ignore my invul save. Mm -hmm. So it's just D3 plus 3 damage. And a, uh, a 6 to wound on a magma cannon. Does a mortal wound addition or something. Excellent. Uh, I 
I think it actually turns it into all mortal wounds. Oh, interesting. Let me just double check. That's that. cool. Okay, so it is going to be a D3 plus 3 damage, but it is halved thanks to Archon Scari's Insensate. Arr, That's great. Arr, arr. So he will take 5 halved. That's 3. And I have a 5 up. Ignore damage thanks to his Soul Helm. He takes 2 damage. He's down to five, 3 remaining. And he will attempt the charge and makes it in. All right, uh, the Cavalite Warriors are all going to charge into them as well. Excellent. There you go. Well, that's that. You are down to eight command points because you did Overwatch there. <laughs> and my succubus. Oh, it'd be really cool to go into the Hearth Garden, uh, the Hearthkin, and just charge them. However, I'm going to trust that Archon Skyri knows what he's doing. However, I am going to go ahead and charge into your call. Let's yeah. try and get that kill and jump in as well. She goes her three. She's going to base him so he can't just move anywhere randomly. And you do have enough CP to interrupt. So I'm going to let you interrupt here because you only have one attack each. Is that correct? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do my which first four attacks hitting on twos because of her plus one weapon skill. Right. Excellent. Wounding on threes because of strength five. Oh, yeah. So that would be three invulnerable saves. Will she do a few wounds here? She does one wound. Just single damage? That's just one damage. I was hoping to get some of those blast pistols through. Would you like to interrupt? He's thinking about it. <laughs> He's thinking about a lot. Two CP to do? Yes, it is two CP. Sure. Excellent. I've got, I've got lots. They shall fight. Now, I believe they will be closer to her, so they have to go this way. And then oh, they, they? Yeah, so it's model to model. Actually, he might be closer to him. Wait, well, they're going to fight in. Everybody except the little medic who's uh, worried about helping his friends survive. Yep, yep. I am going to spend a command point. You'll be minus one to hit my Cavalite Warriors, making you hit on fours. Okay. So you do get plus one to hit because of your League custom trait. Um, mm -hmm. So plus one, minus one, so you will be hitting on threes, rolling ones, thanks to the call on the table as well. And you're fighting into the Cavalite Warriors with all their attacks. So threes. Threes. Are you rolling? There's a couple ones. of ones in there, thank goodness. No judgment token on that unit yet. Nope. Okay, the axe did hit a few times. No threes. Everything wounding on threes here. No re-rolls. Okay. So we have three from the axe. What's the AP on that one? And then four from regulars, which... The axe uh, is minus three. Okay, so that will be involves, and then no AP on those? No AP on okay. those. Okay. So these damage. will be six up invulnerable saves. Is it one damage on the axe? The axe is single damage. Okay. So six up involves, and then I get a six up. Feel no pain, because they are grizzled veterans. And then the regulars on fours, and six up feel no pain. So five of the Cavalite Warriors will go down. And Skyri takes his revenge. Okay, so that's them. Excellent. Now we'll do Archon Skyri. Okay, there we go. So Archon Skyri gets to find Chase. He's only got six attacks, so oh, nothing crazy. Um, he does have his deadly charge, which does help, which is awesome. Uh, he does have to reroll that six, because he's still blind in one eye. But he does hit all the time. And he wounds on threes thanks to his Poison Agonizer. However, sixes to wound will also do immortal in addition to normal damage. Oh, my goodness gracious. Legendary Archon Skari going for broke here. So that is three at AP4, three at AP3, and three mortal wounds on top of all the damage that he has done. <laughs> yeah, right. That might be a grudging, maybe. Uh, that might be, that that might be a grudging. So I still get my Rampart shield. Okay, so six five up, invulnerable saves, and a... Uh, and he kills one, two, three, four, five, five. six, seven. Uh, that is the, the entire yeah. squad. Argon Skari <laughs> going, <laughs> just murdering Votan. Brah, he says, come oh. get some. Excellent. Good job, Skari. And he's just going to sit right there. And then uh, he does get a judgment token because that is definitely a grudge. That's a grudge. That is definitely a grudge. And, uh, and then I will activate the squad of Capilite Warriors. I'm just going to get around Archon Skari and uh, make sure that... Uh, 
you have to kill them first before you can kill Skari himself. However, the Carl turns around and faces the most annoying gladiatrix in the entire arena. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, I haven't got to my command phase yet, so I can't give him a personal grudge Ooh, against her. Ooh, fancy. <laughs> so Might not even make it, really. Yarg. Okay, so hitting on... Ooh, oh, again. My oh, my goodness. Wounding on twos. As well. Yarg. Okay, so three saves this time. Any sixes bounce back mortal wounds here. So, four up, invulnerable save. First one, she's okay. Second one, she dies. Okay, <laughs> you finally, you finally got her after all that work. Huzzah. Excellent. Do you want to consolidate closer to me? No. No, you're going to stay there, are you? And with that, it is the end of Dark Eldar turn number two. And I do get another gross token on that raider as they complete the scan action. And uh, now I've done both of these table quarters. However, by taking your home objective, I've pulled you down to zero points on the mission primary. Yep. On to Votan turn two. I also owe you a morale because I did lose five models there. Uh, they are leadership. Let's see. Uh, they will fail. Ah, one runs. <laughs> Flee! And then there's four of them left. Ones and twos. One more runs. Well, at least they keep Archon Scari safe for now. Something. At least uh, against one shot. But whether they were ten of them or five of them or three of them, they will only protect Scari from one shot. <laughs> because that's how powerful your shooting is. Okay, now we can go on to turn two. So, zero primary points. And... You um, and then Archon Scari did get a kill. Not that that matters uh, for like experience and whatnot, because he's a legendary character can literally not gain more experience. <laughs> so so uh, let's see what we what the Votan decide to do as they're thinning out in terms of troops. Their recon patrol has been ambushed by Scari's real space raid, um, which is awesome. End of the moon phase. The Bolt um, Hearthkin have moved up. The Carl has decided to go and challenge Skari to a hand-to-hand -hand fight, which is going to be awesome. And in the meantime, you so, are so, going to roll. Sorry, in his command. Phase, yep, he's, he's going to put gonna, a grudge he's on. He's going to give a grudge to the the cowards. Ah, oh, they had. I thought they had really um, avoided the grudges for now, but not for long. Not yet. So, are you bring trying to bring in any of your reserves? I am going to bring in Squad Bebop. Okay, so on a attempted. four plus, they will arrive. No. They do not. They will wait. Okay. And that's, uh... Because you, you don't want my reserves coming in and killing all your, <laughs> all your reserves. Well, I guess at this point, they already are coming in after yours. They are, yes. Uh, let's roll for Rocksteady as well. Okay, that's another one. Oh, no. No, is that the okay. Terminators? No, that was uh, the, the other bikes. Okay, so the bikes are off right now. That means they'll come in after mine. I'll get their their pick of the litter, as they say. I think that's, that's it. So okay. I'm going to just go with this. The Votan holding true, hopefully uh, waiting to see if their end game reserves will help turn the tide of battle. So little Hearthkin uh, are going to shoot the missile and... Magna Rail into my Raider, and everything else into the Cabalite Warriors. I don't have any command points. I cannot make you minus one hit or anything like that. Uh, okay, let's uh, see how quickly it takes you to kill him. Well, the Magna Rail auto hit with the Hunter's Mark, and then roll to wound. Fail to wound again, forcing Tyler to use another CP reroll. That's <laughs> what they're there for. <laughs> but did reroll it successfully. Kills the Raider, did not explode. And then we've got all the bolters you are using. I'm going to use another optimized volley Very cool. for exploding sixes. So you're down to four command points remaining. Man, you've started with twice as many as me. <laughs> Man, you have some good strats. I love Seven. it. It's a lot of shots, See, though. There's hitting always, on, always something to use. With hitting it. on threes, rolling ones. Yep. And that's that. Okay. <laughs> Thanks to the call being within Vox Casa range, essentially. Nice. You do ignore light cover with the little scanners, too. So I'm just going to get my five up saves, so essentially. Some auto wounds. Oh, that's right. They do have a grudge. Uh, uh oh, exploding. sad. You hit on threes, though? Yeah, there you go. Perfect. 13 saves into the Cavalry Warriors on fives. Oh, look, you killed him. Good. I'm gonna Volkite. Volkite uh, pistol. You are minus one to hit me because of my soul hell. Alright, that's fine. So I need threes to hit. Ooh, Ooh, nicely done. One of them is 
automatically immortal. Okay. And strength five, T5? T3. T3. So oh, threes. Okay. So threes. Just one. One more. So no immortal and a regular save? Just one damage? Just one damage. Okay. So uh, you immortal, don't... Immortal and one damage. Yeah, okay. So immortal and one damage. I'm just going to take it. Is there any AP on this Volkite gun? No. Okay, so I'm going to take it on his armor. Four up armor save. He's okay. And then a five up to ignore the mortal. And he takes a mortal. He's down to two wounds remaining. And in comes the call. Charge. I love it. Yard. Excellent. Look at him go. Yard. Cool. Um, so we totally forgot he has a five up feel no pain. So he's taken three he's taken damage three. so far. We're just going to roll it now uh, because that would have made a difference. Uh, well, so he gains done. two more wounds. He's back up to four because he does have a five up ignore damage from uh, that he would have been able to take. Now against Archon Scari, he will not be able to use it as Archon Scari does have... Friends on ah. his uh, his ag- his agonizer is coated with a deadly toxin. All right, so I'm hit. Argon Scary Soul Helm makes you minus one to hit. And he went. He went. He went. I have been sentenced as ancestrally, um, yeah. which does mean that you'll get reroll hits. So hitting on threes with rerolls, auto wounding on sixes because you did put a judgment token on me because mm-hmm. you could see me, correct? So there you go. Two rerolls, one automatic wound. Very nice. Okay, and then a strength five against my toughness uh, three. Strength six. Ooh, so needing twos to wound. And are these uh, one damage, two damage, these three are damage? Single damage. Okay. AP minus three. Okay, so single damage AP three. Nice. Six, two damage attacks. Uh, yes. Three, four, five, six. Sorry, he's actually strength seven, if that would make No, it doesn't. Difference. does not make a difference. Okay. So six, two damage attacks with his Relic Sword, and Archon Skari will activate his Shadow Field. We all know how that goes. He either makes all of them, or fails the very first one. Two up. He, ooh, yes! He's already started! Nice. Ah, oh, he's going to fail the third one. So he's going to take five, feel no pains, and he does go down. But his nanomed will activate at the end of the phase. Oh, Excellent! Oh, You're oh, just standing right there. Archon Scari's nanomed kicks in, and it does, bringing him up with, I believe, his D3 wounds remaining. One wound remaining. Boop! Just outside of combat range. Excellent. Archon Scari is in for a bout here. Really hits. Really hits. <laughs> and with that, it is the end of the turn. Archon Scari with one wound left. No. Shadow field remaining, <laughs> ready to go in and do some work. Awesome. Let's uh, let's see what he can do here as he moves. It, as I move into my turn three. So, turn three, I will have one objective for five points, and I do hold more than you for another five points. So that's ten more points on the primary as we move into turn number three. End of the movement phase. Archon Scari is just gonna sit there and stare you down, Carl. Mm. We've got this Cabalite Warrior unit coming over here. They're going to start the action in that corner here. And uh, they will, of course, get a grudge token, but they can shoot and still do the action because they are battle-hardened and all that good stuff. And they can see one guy there. And then I'm probably going to shoot maybe a grenade launcher or a dark lance or something out there. We'll see. This raider came out on this side to prevent you from using this entire edge to come in from reserves and to coming in to that uh, dense. So you can come in, I'll still benefit from the dense, but you can't use this whole board edge for your strategic reserves, which is really useful for me, just blocks that off, forces you that way, which uh, is good for me, and of course makes your agenda a little harder, because Skari likes to prevent his enemies from doing what they planned. And we will start the battle, uh, and the battle, I mean the shooting phase, by shooting Archon Scari's Blast Pistol at your call. Okay, he hits, but he has to re-roll it because he's blind in one eye. Ooh, he really hits. He does need a three to wound, and he cannot re-roll this. Again, Blast Pistols. He's immune to Blast Weapons. <laughs> Over here, let's see if Poison Weapons... Uh, show off. We're going to do with Splinter Cannon into there, and then everything else is going to shoot into them. So Splinter Cannon needing four shooting through the forest. Rerolling ones because they are elite. And then wounding on threes because our poison tongue that is one save. That will do two damage if it goes through. Ah. 
Mm. And he does ignore it on five ups, though, because he does have his friends on. Ooh, back down to where he was. Excellent. <laughs> Good job. Okay, and over here, we're going to go ahead and do everything else into them. We'll start with the two blasters. Both hit. Or both wounds. There's uh, AP4, so AP3, so sixes. And you will ignore the first failed. You do ignore the first failed, thanks to the medic, and then all the little rifles, and the phantasm grenade launcher. Okay, so we have seven on threes, because I was able to get in, re-rolling ones. Excellent. And then threes again. So that will be five just regular armor saves on the little Votan warriors. Okay. I kill one. Excellent. And the Phantasm Ray Launcher gets three shots. Two hits. First one doesn't do anything. Second one doesn't do anything. On a four plus, I get another gross token <laughs> because I did a casualty. Ah, oh, they do. And I made you under starting strength, unless you heal someone. In which case, uh, they're going to go to one. They'll go to two because they're doing an action right now. Right. So might as well just put that on there now. Uh-oh, they're super grudged. Super grudged. Then we have over here, we're going to go ahead and do this Dark Lance of your call. And if the Corsairs can reach, the Corsairs as well. Right. Argon's Guard doesn't like fighting fair. Dark Lance hits. Wounds. That's a four up. Oh, he is a monster with that invulnerable save. Absolutely love it. Okay, so with that, let's dive into the charge phase. Oh, and uh, yeah, so my Venom's actually, he can't see him because that is obscuring. So Argon Scarry's jumping in. Hiya! He goes uh, very far away. It's going to go this way. Okay, Archon Scarry, let's see what you can do. There we go, hitting on twos, Mr. Scarry. Ooh, that was very close. I wish that would have been for the wound roll here. Winning on threes. And then sixes, of course. Oh, three, I have to re-roll. My apologies, because he's blind in one eye. Oh, no. The oh, I did. He's blind. He's like, I don't have depth perception. <laughs> Great, brilliant. Yeah. And on threes, with sixes doing mortals. So that would be four invulnerable saves, and you cannot use rules to ignore failed saves or any wounds that you take here. How much damage? Are you Just doing? one each. You need to fail two of these, and he fails two of these. Okay, that is a re-roll. If I have a soul one, yeah, he stays Aww. dead. Yes, Archon Scarry. Kicks down your call. <laughs> your call. What was the AP on that? It's at least three. Oh. But yeah, yeah. It's, it's your invul on that one. Oh, yeah. And there you go. Boop. And then I will pile in and uh, just kind of hide back here, if at all possible. So, Take but, my one wound. But he'll now also have two. Games. He does have. He's or he's very dead. He's he's on stims right now because <laughs> he literally just survived. But that is an assassinate point. Excellent. Good job, Scary. That's how we do it. End of turn number three. I get another gross token over there, which we already did. I did pull you down to another zero on primary, and we move into your turn, number three. And all the bikes decide to show up now. And there we have it. The Votan have come in, but um, Archon Scari's machinations have sort of forced all of the reserves into the corner again, really kind of dominating the battlefield. They've finally made it into the corner after three turns, and are going to press buttons. Um, yeah. Then we have one unit of bikes here, ready to just open up and nuke that unit. And we have uh, the champion, the Ironier champion, going to go punch Scari. Revenge for killing his cull. And then the other bikes have moved in, as well as the hearth guard, ready to uh, do some damage to a Venom. Excellent. So with that, let's go into the shooting phase. So those bikes ended up shooting everything into them, killed seven out of the ten. Um, uh, the, my, I did lightning fast reactions then for minus one to hit. The other, only two of the other bikes can see the Venom, and they are now taking their target on them. Minus one to hit for the Venom, minus one to hit for the... Uh, these guys um, do have scanners, so they do ignore the dents. Okay, so they ignore dents. Okay. I thought the searchlight... Or no, the... They ignore light, right? Unless you gave them the... Yeah. 
So they do ignore light cover because they don't have a searchlight. So uh, it is still minus one for the Venom. So all of the little guns. Or is it uh, six so shots from the auto cannons, two, essentially? Three shots each from the auto cannons. Yep. Only one guy has a shotgun in range, but this is the auto cannons first. Yeah, hitting on fours. <laughs> and uh, grudge, I've got one grudge token on there. So nothing. Uh, three hits. And they're wounding on threes. Ooh, okay. three at AP1, so five ups. And I take four damage down to two remaining. Uh, two shotgun shells. Oh little shotgun gosh. shells. Good. Hit. Strength five. One, two wounds. Those are only single damage. Any I AP on this? One. Okay. One more damage. Has one wound remaining, and you've got your high last. And then the high last. A it's bunch of little shots. last gun shots there. Nine, eh? Wow, that's very, very cool. Six is auto wounds. Ah. That's one auto wound. I'll just roll the save. It dies. Does it explode? No, you got it. Those little bikes got a kill. Kaboom. Kablam. He is going to fire the Iron Ambassador at Scurry. <laughs> oh, yeah, the no invulnerable save bolter. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, minus one to hit. So, so, I think that's three. The Iron Ambassador. Brrr. I love it. Well, that's two <laughs> wounds automatically. Um, two wounds, and I'm just going to roll my feel no pants. Unless it uh, his attacks thing translates to also ignoring wound caps and no, I think uh, shooting. Only, I think only Doesn't matter. Area. He dies. You got Scary. He kills Scary. <laughs> Blah. Dead. He is no more. He has ceased to be. He's pining for the fjords. Okay. <laughs> and that was the ignominious end of Scary. Getting shot by the uh, Iron Ambassador. Well, exciting times. Then we have the Volkite Disintegrators and Grenade Launchers firing into the Raider. Very so nice. the grenade launchers are Couple that shots. many shots. Nice. So Thanks to my little nose hitting. in the cover. Minus one to hit, so it's 19 shots from the grenades. Fours, fours to hit. And I don't have a grudge token on here, which is exciting. Fives to wound. I played yeah. against these little guys when I was playing my guard. Uh, oh, and these no grenade ones. launchers were nasty. They're minus one. Okay, uh, five ups. I take two damage on the Raider. Okay, disintegrators. Okay, very nice. That's a lot of shots. How many each? They are three shots apiece. Nice. Right, so 15 okay. shots hitting on fours. Thank goodness I don't have uh, a grudge token on, because okay. that was quite a few sixes. Well, the sixes, though, are mortals. Cool. So that is six mortal wounds and four um, extra hits. Uh, no. no, yeah, no. yeah. Those oh, are, did I re-roll these ones? Yeah. yeah, those are to wound now. Yes. yes. So those need fives to wound. <laughs> So two more. So I need ones. to take two saves. Two saves. Those what happens on ones? Damage. What happens on ones? What do you mean? You said no ones, but I don't. Oh, uh, ones to wound. I can reroll because of. Oh, okay, okay. That's, that's go yeah. He re -re he's like a lieutenant for them. Okay. Yeah. So uh, AP on these? None. None. So four up saves for the raider, and it takes seven damage. Has one wound remaining. That six is to hit, do mortals with those Volkite, was incredible. Yeah. But it is still alive and kicking. Okay, so with that is the end of your turn. Excellent. Uh, yeah, I don't have any assaults. No so. assaults to be done. I do owe you a morale test. They lost seven of their friends, and they will fail, so I'm going to run the sergeant. And I have two more Cabalites. Will they stick around? Oh, no. No, oh, they, whoop, they turned tail and like, we did an action, we're out of here. They got a grudging on us. Yeah. Run! However, you did do your action for your scan on that corner there. First Excellent. Mission fight you. First mission points for the Votan, turn three, but they are playing the long game as they are dwarves. And then we move into Drukari turn number four. I knew as soon as those bikes came in that they were going to be in trouble, so I'm glad they didn't show up until turn three, because those bikes are nasty. You have to try kill the bikes, kill the bikes, kill the bikes. Um, I do have one objective, and I hold more than you, so I will get ten more primary points, which is very exciting. <laughs> uh, on to turn four here for ten more primary, which does bring me up to 35 there, and three of the table quarters done, and you finally got your second quarter as well for that secondary too. Okay, so with that, let's dive in. We're just gonna go and fight. It's gonna be a fun time. Rosalia, Incubi, time to get out and party. 
Rosalia ran up at full speed, <laughs> ready to go and engage the hearth guard, and the incubi following close behind as well. Over here we had the raider heal a wound and then move up. Oh, it has plus two inches of movement. Excellent. So that's yeah, it's got enhanced engines on that one. Uh, and then getting all the uh, blasters and stuff in range just from the corsairs. Nothing crazy. It's turn four. Uh, we're just going to try and do some damage. Um, actually. Um, hitting on five. Do they minus one to hit at all? To be hit? Mm. No? Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Yeah. We're going to try and lower the amount of shots that comes from that unit. So we'll start with the Dark Lance. It's going to go into your bikes. Uh, it needs a five to hit because I'm on lowest bracket. It does not. And then the blaster and rifles from the um, Corsair. So the blasters is going to try and hit. It does. It wounds. So one blaster at 84 on the bikes. So you do have the mag riders, but it wouldn't have mattered because I rolled a four to hit. Okay, so one wound is AP4, their armor four up. So I believe uh, that's just D6 damage. Who's going to take it? We're going to give it on to the guy that ignores... Um, that's the scanner. So he ignores light cover. Excellent. So D6 damage on him. He takes three and goes down. Blip. The rest of the Corsairs with their Splinter Axe are shooting into you as well. Um, they hit on threes, unless you wanted to use a strat. No, cool. Wounding on uh, fours. So one, two regular saves and one AP3 okay. for their Shuriken weapons. Uh, so the regular saves, one goes through. What's their toughness? Five? Uh, so only one would have gone through. Oh. Yeah, T5, right? T5. Yeah, okay, never mind. So just one, one that is AP3. So, six up. Nope, just one guy takes a wound. And they did, uh, you did roll, they get a gross token. Even though they're inside a vehicle, interesting little mechanic there. Sure. Oh, and I owe you my Phantasm grenade launcher as well. How many shots? Three shots. Two hits. What's their leadership? Eight? Yes. Okay, first one. Uh, oh, cocked. Nothing. Second one, nothing. Okay. And then we're going to do some charging. Um... Yeah, we're going to go ahead and charge Rosalia. Can I overwatch her? Absolutely. I mean, I Please, be it. my guest. Lots of grenade shots. Um, tw uh, right. 22 grenades. I like it. Lots of grenade shots into Rosalia, trying to bring her down. Okay, couple of hits. Four hits. She is... Uh, she did not get plus one toughness. Mm -hmm. So she has toughness three only. Winning on threes. Will they do some damage to her? Mm -hmm. Oh, three. Ones, Excellent. Ones. Very nice. Four. Four, four ups. And she has a five up ignore damage. She takes one damage. All right. Good job. And then all of the pew pew Volkai guns. Very dangerous. Three shots each. These are very That's dangerous. Four. That's it. Just straight up mortals. Four mortals. Okay, she does have her five up. She needs to pass one of these to get into combat. Or she will keel over and die. Excellent. She only takes one damage. Oh. Down to three. Rosalia's plot. <laughs> Her ploy to come and fight you <laughs> comes into play. She's actually going to come around this way, like so. Oh, no. She doesn't want to do that. No, she's going to sit back here. <laughs> she doesn't want to fight Mr. Crazy Dude Guy. Uh, then the Inky are going to jump in as well. Try and make it in there. Excellent. They do too. The hammer does. So we're going to go ahead and uh, try and spook you with the Incubi to make you fight lost. Because you do have two command points. And I do. Excellent. No interrupting here, I say. <laughs> and I do have my one command point. Ah, oh, that's so cool. So I'm going to start with Rosalia first, because she is awesome. Rosalia gets to swing. She gets six attacks plus one for her combat drugs. Six is to hit will explodes and do extra hits. She's using her Archite Glaive. Hitting on twos. Okay, so one additional hit, one miss. She is strength seven with all of her combination of drugs and Chris Blade. So threes to wound, sixes will do a mortal in addition to damage. <laughs> she is a lord of toxins as well. Ooh. Oh. I like that. That is... <laughs> And these are AP4 as well. Yeah. So these will be minus three. So that's three five ups, two four ups, and then three mortal wounds in addition. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
So three, three five ups because they're AP four minus one AP three to your two up. So three five up saves. One damage goes through. Then two four up saves because uh, nothing Ooh. there. So then three mortals. So I will yes, kill, kill two one, in total. Excellent. Two go down with a, some good saves from their well-crafted armor. Uh, Does Rosalia take a grudge token? Yes. Will. They're like, oh, you wounded us. You That's a grudge. We saw ya. <laughs> now the Incubi are going to go. Oh, I'm God. just going to fight into you. I spend my one command point to prey on the weak to give them rural ones to hit. Oh, let's go, newly minted Incubi. Hitting on two. And they prey on the weak. Excellent. And wounding on fours, because that's rank five. Can't reroll wound rolls. And you're minus one damage, which actually really doesn't help here. But any sixes to wound are going to be three damage, which will be two damage. Excellent. So that's one so far. Oh, that was a wound. Good. And then we go on to these here. Ooh, very nice. So those are AP four. And all these are AP three. So take three. Five ups, and they're three damage each, which will kill them if they go through. Oh, no. Go, go, Gadget no. Incubi. One will go down straight away, and then six more four up saves. <laughs> I love my Incubi, but that minus one damage being absolutely clutch here, which is exciting. You need to fail four of these. Okay, one, two. Oh, only one more goes down. Well done. Boo. Uh, and I will come around this way here. Plop. And uh, essentially pin you in combat and try and keep Rosalia safe. Now, on a 4+, plus, I take a grudge token because I didn't kill you. No. Yes, they're not a grudge. Oh, uh, well, it would have been on a 3+, plus, but cool. it doesn't matter. Okay, and now your hammer guy gets to fight me back. He gets plus 1 to hit because he's under starting strength because of the custom rules. Yep, which is um, he's, uh, and he's got minus one, so he's hitting on threes with his hammer. Uh, and he's hits. yeah, not auto-wounding or any rerolls here. Rargh. Hits all the time. Okay. Winning on twos, I'm assuming. I'm assuming it's like a big thunder hammer. He's uh, over six oh, inches oh, now because yeah. his friends died. What's the AP on this? The hammer is minus... Two. Okay, so three, four, five up saves on the Incubi, and what's the damage? Three damage. Okay, five up saves on the Incubi. One Incubi goes down. Boop. As my five up save keeps me alive. And that is a morale test for you. Cool. At minus four, does he run? He stays in combat, sticking around. Excellent. So with that, the Dark Eldar will... Uh, of course, you don't have any primary objectives. However, we move into turn number four. Turn number four now for the Votan. Still have quite a lot on the table, especially those bikes, which are crazy good. But I've been able to really maximize my smaller units over the course of the game here. At least the Incubi are stopping that champion from running away, which does mean that you can either try and do a desperate breakout or you can essentially shoot at me in combat, which is completely fine as well. well Things like that, too. The teleporty thingy. He has Very warp, cool. warp strike. And so you can leave if you're engaged as well? Yes, yeah, so let's just, just Ooh, check. Very that. nice. Well, the teleport crest lets him do it, Okay, but he has the relic teleport oh, he has crest, the, warp strike. Very cool. So you can't... You can just leave. <laughs> He's going... Oh, no, once per game. He's going to leave. He comes back in this turn or next turn? Oh, immediately. Immediately. Cool. He's going to come back and just be annoying. <laughs> I love it. He's like, I'm just going to try and uh, do stuff back there. Like that. He's going to try and get that done next turn. Very exciting. It was so close. I almost killed that squad. But the Incubi feel a lot more exposed now. That uh, they have a whole bunch of guns coming at them. So there we have it. End of the movement phase. The bikes have moved around. The Magna Rail has gone in range of the Raider to try and like Hunter's Market, more than likely. You do have three command points remaining. These bikes have moved up. You're essentially just starting to really sweep the board here. And this guy just teleported all the way over here. He ran away. Yeah. There you have it. Is he doing the action over here? Um, or is he going to shoot? He will do the action yep. in this. In, oh, he will do the action. No. Tyler just comes here, breaks my terrain. See, see, look at that. It's proof. No, <laughs> it's fine. I need to repaint a lot of these anyway. Okay, let's do it. 
So he is battle tested. He can shoot. Um, and we're going to come back after the shooting phase. We'll tell you, show you what's going on as it starts wrapping up here. So here we have it. The Raider died. Then just one unit of bikes killed the uh, Corsairs who were inside. No, their first game when they've been fully painted. And they died, of course. <laughs> and then, of course, the rule, just right? the one thing left here to shoot. The Iron Hero Champion into the Incubi with the Ambassador who killed Archon Scari, which makes me sad inside. Rawr! No auto wounding, no rerolls here. Just hitting on threes. He does shoot on threes, right? Um, cool. Hit some twos, actually. Unless, nice. unless they're minus one hit? Nope. And then winning on threes, I'm assuming. Cool. Three saves at AP. I'll roll it, see if it matters. Ambassador, I believe, is minus two. Okay, so that one, two will go down. AP, uh, two damage or one damage? Uh, I believe it is two, but I'm just looking okay. it up real quick. If it is, then I will definitely try to keep my... Um, it, it, it is only single damage, but it's actually AP minus three. Oh, okay. Well, that doesn't matter, but if, because it's single damage, then I'm going to kill the Clavex to make sure Rosalia cannot get charged. Come on in and fight me, charging, Mr. Champion. Charging the uh, Clavex. I like it. Or the, you know, they make the, it in. The, thank you, bye. Plop. Excellent. I'm going to. I'm not going to. I'm going to. You're close enough for me to heroic. I don't have to end within three. So I'm going to heroic this way. Just end a little closer. But on that side. Um, yep. Okay. I'm going to see if I make you fight last. <laughs> do I make you fight last? What's your leadership, Mr. Champion? Uh, no. Uh, when... uh, doing impact hits. Yes. Nice. Mass, mass driver okay. accelerator. That's before this happens. A D6. Yep. No, on a, it's on Four. a six. Oh, okay. He does mortal wounds. So, what's your leadership? Oh, or if it is equal to or beats the toughness of the unit. What is the unit? There are three. Okay. So Just I, a mortal? It is D3 mortals. Oh, really? Wow. Brop, brop, brop. That's how that works? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, then that would be before that goes anywhere. Yes. Um, so, are you going to sit there or... Just... Can I... I you can't charge. You can't. You didn't declare as a charge. So you can't like so can't attack her. Attack her. Well, then I'll sit Just right sit there. Well, that's it, I guess. So at the end of that, you get one more of the corners. I will get a zero on primary for that, and we will move on to the end of the game here. <clears throat> okay, Rosalia. I don't get any primary points. She's going to move back. Press buttons in the last table quarter uh, to give me a forty-five points for that, and that's it. She's not going to do anything else. Uh, so with that, we move into. Votan turn number four. Uh, in Votan turn number uh, four, turn five. Turn five. Sorry, yeah. you're gonna get you're gonna get fifteen because you hold two, hold more. You're gonna do your action here, and they're gonna move in and do this action here, and then I'm assuming Mr. Guy's gonna yeah. come and punch me. So after, let's after introducing her to the ambassador. Because... Okay, invulnerable saves. Yeah. So we're just gonna do this little fight because it's fun, and then we'll do an after action report. She, uh, he shoots the iron ambassador at her. Yep. On twos. Excellent. Uh, on threes. Many? Oh, she's only got one token. Yep. Oh, but she just did an action. So two. So, so two auto wounds. So two auto wounds. Uh, I'll just roll uh, Feel No Pains here. She takes one more damage from the Ambassador. Okay. Boop. And then this one's... Do nothing. Wound. Okay. But then he will charge her. Okay, and then on a three plus does uh, D3 mortal wounds. D3 mortal wounds. Two, one, one mortal wound. wounds. And I take one more. I have one left. Then he gets to punch her yeah. with a big hammer. On sixes to hit, it just does a bunch of more. Oh, it just does a bunch of more. So <laughs> Super relic hammer of doom. Four attacks. And that uh, that's, means that's... she has to take at least eight. Excellent. Look, she died. Okay. She's very dead. She Blah. Rosalia goes down. So I did lose the entirety of my army, but with 80 points to your 60 points, the Dark Eldar will be victorious. <laughs> As they took your call back to the dark city, and that was all we wanted. We just—it was a capture and take home. Uh, that's all I wanted. There you go. I love it. Let's do our after action reports. But it is a Drukari victory, even though I got absolutely wiped. Holy crap! Votan just are very scary. I love it. <laughs> the Votan after the battle only had one unit gain experience to level up. A uh, bike squad rock steady is taking strafing runs, so they can now shoot and then move again. Which is once per game. 
incredibly powerful. Yeah. I love it. Awesome. As they continue their um, surveys of the stars. Let's see what Arkon Skari and uh, his entire tabled army has toiled to receive. Well, uh, my entire army was destroyed. Um, so Slick Venom did roll a um, battle scar, so they are now battle weary. They can't do actions, even though they can do actions and shoot, which means I might have to use a requisition later to let them recuperate. Archon Skari also took a battle scar. He suffered a loss of reputation as this raid did not oh, no. go exactly as planned. Now, I did get a single raid spoil point for winning the game. I get another one on a 4+. plus. I have two raid spoil points. I am using my one requisition from this battle um, to cash in on my fifth soul trap point for Archon Skari. And he's going to now, once, only once, can I use this after he's killed five characters in melee, where I can cash in all five of these to give him a plus one, a bunch of buffs, a permanent buffs for the rest. He's like soaked up all the souls of his of his uh, rivals. So he has plus one attacks, plus one strength, plus one toughness, and plus one leadership. <laughs> and his crusade point value is up by two. So he goes from a five to a seven as legendary Archon Skari feasts on the souls of his enemy. And all he had to do was die. And all he had to do was die multiple times. And uh, now Archon Skari will play the politics game before the end of the game here. That was a fun game, by the way. I had a lot of fun against the Votan. They shoot a lot. I didn't really take the right agendas because Breakthrough requires you to survive till the end of the game. I probably would have done better like doing actions or just trying to get like points by Reaper or just something really simple, you know, that sort of thing. But that was not to be. Okay, so with that, let's go into Territory Dominance. Low, high... And then we'll see what Archon Skari adds. I'm going to spend one of my little uh, raid spoiler points for this. And it's uh, low, so it is table number one. And it's going to be 24, which will be a Toxin Distillery. A24 is not one that I have. Excellent. So he has added a Toxin Distillery to... Um, the repertoire. Now, on a one, correct. On a one, uh, somebody tries to assassinate him. No, good. <laughs> so he does not take another battle scar, which most of his battle scars have come from playing the politics game in the Dark City, which is hilarious. Other than that, that's it. Legendary Archon Skari has moved on. Thanks a lot, Tyler, for coming down. Thanks for having me. Really appreciate it. That uh, was really fun. Well, thanks a lot for hanging out. Tyler and I had a great time. Um, thanks for coming down to the game. Thanks really appreciate it. A huge shout out to all the channel Patreons, like Tyler, without whom none of this would be possible. So thank you so much for your support. If you want to help the channel out, check the link down it's below. Always, it's always good to come and play beautiful games on beautiful tables. I know, it looks so cool. Thank you very much, Miniature Scenery, because that set is one of my favorite sets. I don't get to use it very often. Okay, with that... Cheerio, everyone! Ah, the Darkkin. Also, let me leave me a comment down below if you got to this point and you haven't clicked off the video yet. Tell me if you're enjoying the Crusade content as we move in to the next part. Because I feel there's a difference between Crusade, which is really fun, like the more tactical, like, match play games, but I love Crusade a lot. So, let us know what you think. Typey-type it. Bye!